safely delivered at its destination, the missile is unloaded in what is almost a reversal of the loading procedure. As soon as the clamshells open and the aircraft has been unbuttoned, and vernier engine containers removed. All track pallets are unloaded. After the ground track is installed, a towing vehicle is hooked to the aft end of the missile trailer. To restrain or retard the downward roll of the trailer, the aircraft winch cable is attached to the clevises on the main cross frame aft of the nitrogen bottles. Checking for tolerance or clearance, the missile is carefully lowered down the aft cargo ramp until its rear casters are on the ground track. At station 914, the trailer is secured to the aircraft so that the bridle may be attached to the forward clevises just aft of the kingpin on the trailer. The missile trailer is then carefully towed out of the aircraft until the kingpin is approximately 45 to 46 feet from the aft end of the cargo ramp. Once the trailer is free of the aircraft, all track on the aft loading ramp and bridge work on the ground is taken up. After the bogey is manually pushed to aircraft station 1200, it is attached to the aircraft winch cable and lowered down the ramp to ground level. It is then pushed to the aft end of the trailer. The nacelle fairings are removed from the bogey. Then the Tillerman enclosures are removed. The trailer is now raised on its hydraulic jacks and the bogey reinstalled. The trailer is then lowered onto the bogey
and the proper connections made. Meanwhile, ground track under the trailer is removed and replaced on its proper pallets. Now the truck tractor is connected to the missile trailer. With all hookups made, the missile on its trailer is towed away from the aircraft. One more successful airlift of the Atlas missile complete.